Well, the company that did the website did that, right? Sure. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Have you talked to Mike? Maybe talk to Mike Taylor on it. Okay. To see what he's got. Okay. I know we did it. Yeah. I know that. Okay. Now there's none in the there's none in the in the bank for that. Some of the other stuff we did on there I think is kind of neat. We updated all the pictures and stuff for the fire department, of course. I, I, I really like that. But like the parks, the Shawnee Park, Mitch Memorial Park, uh, we actually put a link to the Hampton County sites. Okay. So you can click on there and it, it pulls up the park, tells you what the park does, what it involves, everything in there about the park. We did one for the Senior Center. Um, I talked to the lady down at um, the Hampton County uh, Waste. They no longer call it waste. It's called the Hampton County Resource. Um, so if you go on there, there's a link on there for that. It tells about the Rumpke, you know, there's stuff on there about the Rumpke pickup. And then if you want to get rid of yard clippings, that kind of stuff, it tells you where the sites are and what the rules are and all that's on there. So there's a link to that too. Talk to Ronnie about, we're going to probably put the rules for the cemetery on there. Maybe update that information a little bit. So there's a community news page. So anything Keep that, that's coming up on Get the on West Park information. It's parks. on there. Yeah, it's, <coughs> it's on. It's not on this page, okay. but it's on there. Okay. Um, a couple other things. The Hampton County uh, Fire Chiefs meeting this morning. Uh, there was a, a gentleman there from UC Health. Um, I, I just want to bring this up just so everybody knows. Uh, their numbers from UC are showing that the, the COVID-related illnesses and hospitalizations are are down. Um, they're down for them low enough that they're going to start returning to a normal training schedule. So when the COVID cases were up and they were in, in their concern zone, they uh, they stopped coming out and doing training. So they're going to resume that. So I think that's a hopefully a good sign where we're at with COVID. Um, inspections, just real quick on the inspections. We had 181, there's 181 businesses that we do inspections on. 69 of those are completed. 112 of those have to have a second visit. So we gotta go back and do a reinspection on them. Um, there's been 121 pre-plans for all those businesses submitted to us um, from the firefighters that went out and did the pre-plans. So they're in what we call the rough draft stage. So once we go through and we verify all the information, we'll put those, we'll load those on the computers for the NDCs for the trucks. Um, Scott Dunning has been really working hard on that. I wanna thank Scott. Um, one last thing um, is, and I, you know, I like to point this out anytime that I see our crews or we're part of something that's positive, I want to bring it up. So um, for years we've been contracting our, our oxygen through um, air gas, uh, Indiana Oxygen, and um, <clears throat> they charge us a hazmat fee to deliver our oxygen tanks to each station. And that's significant. It's, it's about 50 bucks to go to each station. Um, on top of that, there's a per day charge for the oxygen cylinders. So we purchased the inventory system when we started inventory and keeping track of how much oxygen we're using, how we realize that we're really overstocked on oxygen. So we're able to cut back on the amount of oxygen bottles that we're keeping. There's small bottles that we use in the first in bags, and then there's large bottles that we use in the squad. Um, with that, we're storing all the bottles at headquarters now. So all the bottles are here, so there's not that trip charge going to each station. Um, with everything said and done, it's gonna be about a four to $500 savings per month. So awesome. I would like to thank Unit One, specifically Joe Yanko, who was a big part of that. And uh, just you know, keeping track of that, that inventory system has, has helped us. So just in, in hopefully in the first year, that inventory system will be paid for because that was the savings is going to be less or more than what the cost of it was. And that's, that's awesome. all I have. That's awesome. Brian, did you ever get to break 